Hi, welcome to my video on proofs using properties of a parallelogram. And these are some examples that I'm going to do for you on proofs using the properties of parallelograms. Proofs using the properties of parallelograms. The properties of parallelograms are, we could say we have opposite sides parallel. Another property is that opposite angles are equal. We could have opposite sides are equal. And we could have, say that the diagonals of a diagonals of a pair diagonals are diagonals bisect each other and another property is that the consecutive angles are supplementary so opposite sides parallel opposite sides equal opposite angles equal the diagonals bisect each other and consecutive angles are supplementary. That's the properties of a parallelogram that I'm going to use when I do these proofs. So these are only examples. So just follow what I'm going to do because the next video we'll have some more practice that you'll be able to pause the video and do on yourself. Or you can pause the video right now and prove these yourself if you know what you're doing or understand. But remember, the unit on congruent triangles, extremely important to do that first and comprehend and understand how to prove triangles congruent because quadrilateral students find more difficult to do because it entails congruent triangles, more thinking. So here we go. Let's do some examples. Given P, T, W, V is a parallelogram. So P, T, W, V is a parallelogram. We're going to prove that angle 4 equals angle 1. So how do we go about that? Well, we're given a parallelogram. So P, T, W, V is a parallelogram. So how am I going to use the properties of a parallelogram to do the proof? So I'm given that I have a parallelogram. So I want 1 equals 4. I'll, I'm looking, I know that 2 is equal to 4, VOAT, vertically opposite angles, but the lines are intersect. And 1 equals 3, because two lines intersecting, VOAT. So if 1 is equal to 4, that means if 1 is equal to 3 and 2 is equal to 4, I must get 2 equals 3 to do a transitive property. So I have a parallelogram. Oh yeah. Angle 2 equals angle 3. Why? Because the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So angle 2 equals angle 3 because they're opposite angles. Now I have angle 4 equals angle 2 and angle 3 equals angle 1, V-O-A-T, vertically opposite angle theorem, or V-A-T. And because that's so, so 2 equals 3, right here, 4 equals 2, 3 equals 4, so because they're all equal, now we can say that angle 4 equals angle 1 by transitive property. And again, more than one transitive. Again, 2 equals 3, 4 equals 2, 3 equals 1. So 2 is equal to 3. There it is. If 2 equals 3 and they're equal to each other, that means 4 is equal to 1 transitive. Okay, one proof though. Again, pause the video and work them out before I do, if you wish. Here we go again. Given that E, J, H, G, E, J, H, G 
is a parallelogram. Prove that MF, MF is right here, is equal to MI. MF equals MI. And normally, you think about congruent triangles. So how am I going to get, what triangles am I dealing with? Well, I got MFE and probably goes with MIH. So this triangle right here is going with this one. Or I got MFG, this one, going with MIJ. So which pair am I going to pick? Well, I want, it's based on your uh, parallelogram. So how am I going to get a pair of, I need a pair of sides equal in order to do the triangle. So I can pick uh, this triangle, E, F, M, going with uh, H, I, M. So I'm going to pick this triangle, going with this one. So let's mark them heavier. And this is the confusion part, because you got to, this is the ones I'm going to deal with. And how do I do that? Well, notice I have diagonals intersecting, and that means the diagonals bisect each other. So I can either say that JG bisects EH, and that makes that ME equal to MH. So I got a pair of sides equal. I can also say that 1 is equal to 2 by VOAT, vertically opposite angles. And I got parallel lines, so I can have either, I can have this angle here equals this one, because their parallel lines are alternate interior, or I can have this angle right here equal to this one alternate interior. So it doesn't make any difference. Let's go with three equals four. So now I've lined up my proof. I now know that I'm going to get these two triangles, E, F, M, congruent to H, I, M by A, S, A, and then I'll have M, F equal M, I. So proof is done in my head, so now I'll put it all together. So E, J, H, G, parallelogram given. As a result, I have that J, I'm going to take JG bisects JG bisects EH. And the reason? Diagonals of Parallelogram bisect B I S bisect each other, and as a result, I have M E equal to M H. Definition of a segment bisector. Okay, so I have ME equal to, because the diagonals bisect each other, I have these two segments equal. Now, I need angles, so angle 1 is equal to angle 2 by VOAT, vertically opposite angles there. If M, H, and F, I are crisscrossing each other, so because the lines are vertically opposite, when two lines intersect, the vertically opposite angles are equal. Now I need that EG is parallel to EG is parallel to JH, and that's definition of a parallelogram. Because the parallelogram says that if you have par if you have a parallelogram, then the opposite sides are parallel, and as a result of that in parallel lines, 
we have that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. And the reason is P L T. And again, there's a form of Zorro. So that's alternate A L alternate interior angles equal. And now I have enough to have the triangle. And what triangle? Triangle E F M. E F M is congruent to the triangle. E goes with H I M. So it's triangle H I M. And the reason for that is an angle side angle. Congruency. And as a result of those two triangles congruent, I have MF equal to HT. Or say MF. MF equals. Oh. Did I say. Oh. EFM is H I M. That's an I. So MF equals uh, H. So M goes with MF. So it's MI. You're looking at so much all the time. So MF, MI. And that's C. P C T C. Okay, let's do another proof. Proofs are students. Uh, proofs are difficult to do, and especially when the more uh, lines you have in it, more segments you have in it, then it's, you got to be careful. Now we have another one C, and we have given that. V, B, C, T is the parallelogram. So here's the parallelogram. V, B, C, T is the parallelogram. We have A, B equals D, T. A, B is this segment right here. A, B is equal to D, T, this one. So I want to prove that angle A, which is this one right here, equals angle D. So, it looks like I have to get the two triangles congruent. I have this segment equals this one. And I have to get, I have this side. I need to get this angle. So, where am I going to get some more angles and some more sides? Well, I have the parallelogram. And I know the parallelogram. I have this VB equals CT because the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So I have this side equals this side. I have this one equals this one. So I have two sides. Now I either need this one equals this to get SSS or I need to get angle 1 and angle 4 equal to get side angle side. So, how do I get angle 1 equals angle 4? Well, I can see that 2 is equal to 3 because they're opposite angles of this parallelogram. So, if 2 is equal to 3, oh, these are supplementary because they form a linear pair. And these are supplementary because they form a linear pair 180 degrees. That means that 1 is going to be equal to 4 by supplement angle theorem which is a theorem that we discussed in congruent triangles. So now I have 1 equals 4, and I have the these two sides equal, these two sides equal. So these two triangles, A, B, V, and D, T, C, are congruent, and therefore I have angle A equals angle D. So, here we go. I put it together, so here we go. So we have, let's see, we get, let's go AB equals DT. Let's put that right at the beginning. 
as a giver. Now, I could also say, let's use the, I can put it all in one to save, my, save myself some space and steps. Let's put the parallelogram also in the first step as a given. So I'll have all that written in. So because I have a parallelogram, that means that V, B equals C, T. That's opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So I have those two right here. I have these two right here. There they are. And I need the angle one equals angle four. So let's go. We got a parallelogram. Okay, we got that done. So angle one and angle two are a linear here and angle three and angle four are a linear pair and that's definition of a linear pair PR and as a result we got angle one is supplementary to angle two and angle three is supplementary to angle four because of a straight angle. And we have now we don't we don't have any relationship between two and three yet, but we got a parallelogram, so we're gonna say that angle two oops angle two is equal to angle three because the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So angle two is equal to angle three opposite angles. Now we have that if one is supplementary to two and three is supplementary to four because two equals three, that means angle one equals angle four by what we call supplement angle theorem. And that's in the unit that we did on congruent triangles. Very important to look at the congruent triangle chapter because of this, all, this can be put together nicely, but it takes a lot of work to, to, you have to do a lot of proofs to get the idea of what's happening. So number seven, we now have these two segments equal which are right here. We have these two segments, which are right here. And we have angle one equals angle four. There they are. And that means we have the triangles congruent. Triangle A, B, V. Triangle A, B, V is congruent to triangle D, T, C. D, T, C. And the reason is side, angle, side. Side, angle, side, congruency. And as a result of these two triangles congruent, that angle A is equal to angle D. Make that a D. And the reason for that is C, P, C, T, C corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So angle A is equal to angle D. That's a D there. Angle A is equal to angle D because of congruent triangles. Okay, now we have another one to do. And again, these are only some, I'm doing some examples. There is another, the next video, we'll have more practice on the properties using the properties of a parallelogram to do the proofs. And I, again, I try to make the proofs different. Don't try not to keep them the same, using all the skills, all the information that we did in congruent triangles we're using and then with the parallelograms. And let's do this one. Again, pause the video and work it out if you can. I made this one a little bit uh, 
different, harder, if you want to look at it that way. Here we go. A, X, C, B is a parallelogram. A, X, C, B is a parallelogram. So we know the properties of a parallelogram. We're going to use those to help us to do the proofs. And it says that SO equals RO. So SO is this one, is equal to RO. So if we say, now I want to get YO equals PO. So YO is here equal to PO. But there's OS and OR, if you, if you looked it over, I remember by pausing the video, you got a chance to go over this before I do. And that's what helps you to think it through in order to do the proofs. Because you try one thing, it don't work, then you got to try another. And you keep trying it, till all of a sudden you say, oh, I see the right idea is how it fits. So YO equals PO is involved in this triangle, YOX and POB. I need to get this triangle congruent to this one. So notice I have OS and OR. They're not involved in this triangle, YOX and POB. So I have to use these two with the parallelogram to get to this triangle YOX and P. so how am I going to do it? So I look around and I say, oh, I see angle 1 equals angle 2. That's because of vertically opposite angle theorem. Now I got OS equals OR. If I had another side, but this, this side is XR is, is not good because it would be an angle side side. We can't do that. I need another angle. Oh, the parallel line here and here will give me either this angle equal to this one, or also I can have this angle equal to this one. So the parallelogram will give me these angles equal, and I can get this triangle, SOB, congruent to ROX. And because these triangles will be congruent, I can say that OB equals OX, which is the side of this triangle, YOX and POB. And that'll allow me to get at this triangle. And when I do, then I can go with this side, parallel to this one, to pick up these two angles here. And this angle equal to this one. Or I can do a VOAT across here. So I have to get this triangle, congruent to this one first, use their part to get into this one. So that's the plan. And notice I said I made, made up a good question. So here we go. SO equals RO given. Number two, I have uh, angle one equals angle two. V-O-A-T. And I need another angle. So I'll say A, X, C, B is a parallelogram. I could have put that up here. Right in the, the given at the beginning. Again, talk to your teacher. If you can put them all in one at the beginning. And then use them as you do your proof. So because I have that's a parallelogram. Then I have... AB is parallel to XC. Property of a parallelogram or the definition of a parallelogram. The definition means opposite sides are parallel. That means that I have angle 3 equal to angle 4. I have this angle right here equal to this one. So angle 3 equals angle 4. And the reason is PLT, alternate interior angles equal. And you might say, well, there's a whole lot of alternate interior angles equal, but there will be more proofs where I'll 
look at corresponding angles equal to sitra. So now I have 1 equals 2, 3 equals 4, with these two sides equal. So that's enough to say that triangle SOB is congruent to triangle ROX. And it's an AAS. AAS congruency. And as a result of those two triangles congruent, then I have O, B equals OX. C, P, C, T, C. And as a result, I have this segment equals to this one. So now I'm working on this triangle right here and this triangle to get the OY and OP equal. So now I have, if I want, I can use another uh, alt B, uh, this is 3 and 4, I can go 5 equals 6, angle 5 equals angle 6, and that's V-O-A-T. So notice, 5 equals 6, this is a line, Y-P, this is a line or segment, uh, B-X, these two segments are intersecting, so that means that 5 is equal to 6 by V-O-A-T. So I have... OX, I have this angle 5, now I need this line, which is AX is parallel to BC, definition of a parallelogram, and number 10, because this line is parallel to this one, that means that this angle 7 is going to equal angle 8. Angle 7 is equal to angle 8. And again, it's a PLT alternate interior angles equal. And that's, notice now I have this triangle right here. That's number 11. So triangle YOX is congruent to triangle YOX is P-O-B. 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 Oh, why did I say P-O-B? Got to be careful. Very easy to, to name wrong. So Y-O-X is P-O-B, and that's a angle side angle. Number 11, angle side angle congruency. And as a result of those two triangles, I have YO is equal to PO. And that's CPCTC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles congruent. So, a good proof using the properties. Notice I had a double congruent triangle. I had, I had to prove this tri these two triangles congruent here to use their parts, which is OB and OX, to get into this triangle. So that's a good proof. And again, the next video that you look at will be more practice. And the more you do, the better you get. And if you like my video, click on the like button, subscribe button, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.